and welcome to the Red Phone Zone. I am Ethan. Uh, and uh, Aaron mentioned that I should try to do a confessions here, since I'm, I'm getting back into comic books, obviously. Uh, I've been dropping a lot of money on them lately. Um, and obviously, uh, DC is sort of very well represented on the show, and um, it's, I've, been, I've said on numerous occasions that uh, I'm a Marvel boy. I'm, I'm, I'm really big in the Marvel comics. Uh, and so... I'm getting back into comic books and trying to figure out what to get and whatnot, and I've always been a big fan of Brian Michael Bendis, and so um, I went out to uh, several local comic book stores, uh, and I have picked up a slew of some uh, good Marvel books. Um, I picked up the four-issue run of uh, Siege, um, along with the uh, Sentry uh, uh, Fallen Sun epilogue, the New Avengers finale, and the uh, new... Avengers number one, uh, Heroic Age uh, uh, number one, obviously, the new Avengers series by Brian Michael Bendis. Now, most of these are all, all by Brian Michael Bendis, except for uh, the, the Sentry, which is done by uh, Jenkins. Uh, I think Dan Jenkins. Um, now, uh, I'm about to dive into uh, reading some DC stuff, some Bat, uh, Batman and Robin and Red Robin that uh, Aaron has mentioned uh, a lot about. So, um, I just wanted to give my quick thoughts and my review on, uh, on this stuff, because... Well, it doesn't get a lot of play on the actual show, so um, I wanted to talk a bit. Um, I sort of fell out of reading comics uh, or buying comics maybe about, uh, oh, five, maybe six, seven years ago, something like that. Um, and uh, I'm now getting back into it just because uh, there seems to be a lot of really cool stuff going on. Um, and so, obviously, uh, I have read um, Civil War, and um, I have read The um, Secret Invasion. Um, I've read a little bit about Dark Reign. Um, uh, I have some, some of those issues on my computer to read, uh, but haven't really read them entirely yet. Uh, but I jumped into reading uh, Siege here today, and as well as the rest of these. Um, and i got to say, I'm, I'm jazzed. I think uh, Siege is really cool. Uh, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, the thing I like about it, um, and, and you know, I, I've read two issues of uh, some Blackest Night, like Blackest Night Flash, um, and I understand. Uh, 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 I, I need to read the Blackest Night, Blackest Night stuff, uh, borrow it from Aaron, and, and read just the core Blackest Night stuff. But from what he tells me, uh, it's not sort of like how Marvel does it, which is kind of annoying. Um, in that uh, Marvel, you get this four issue, these four issues of Siege, and you get the whole core story. Um, you don't need to go off and read the other books. You can to get some more information and get get little extra bits and whatnot. Um, but essentially, what's going on in this, uh, uh, what's going on in Siege is uh, Norman Osborn, who uh, we all know is the crazy lunatic that is now in charge of Hammer, formerly Shield. Um, has uh, uh, decided and taken it upon himself, being sort of tempted by Loki, to uh, go take on the uh, take on Asgard, which is uh, uh, currently hovering uh, mere feet over uh, a town called, uh, or just outside of a town called Broxton, Oklahoma. Um, and so they show up in mass. He he gets his Dark Avengers together. It's Dokken, um, you know, uh, Venom, and you know, uh, Bullseye dressed up as Hawkeye. Uh, and others, uh, and gets the uh, mobilizes the initiative and goes against the presidential mandate of uh, basically goes against the presidential order to go to uh, to go to Asgard, and so in these books it's uh, sort of how that blows up in his face basically. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. It's uh, it's uh, got some gorgeous art, uh, gorgeous art pieces, and it's got some epic moments in it as far as some moments that when I was reading it just was like wow that's uh wow um it's interesting that it's only a four issue series unlike previous uh previous events with Marvel like Civil War and uh, Secret Invasion which I believe were about eight issues um but you know it sort of keeps it short and sweet and and goes sort of directly to the point um and it all sort of takes place over the course of a day uh and where basically you see Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man all coming back together and uh, basically taking out Norman Osborn and, and taking out Hammer and basically setting everything up for this new heroic age. Uh, here, uh, the new heroic age right here. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second. Obviously, <laughs> uh, 
obviously. Um, but the Siege, uh, is, but Siege is, is pretty cool. Um, I originally wasn't going to pick it up, but decided to uh, after after hearing a bit uh, a bit more about it, especially over on Monarch Comic Monarch Comics Briefing, which you should be able to actually hear me uh, hear me on uh, pretty soon. Um, as a, I'm not going to go too much into a uh, spoiler, but there's some uh, pretty cool fights in there with uh, with Sentry versus Thor, or Sentry versus uh, uh, um, Atlas, or not Atlas, excuse me, uh, Ares, um, and some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's nice to see Thor and Iron Man back, in, Iron Man and Captain America back in the groove. Um, and I gotta say. Uh, it, it read Siege, you read this one, uh, the, the New Avengers finale, right afterwards, uh, and it's another one done by Bendis, um, and it sort of puts the punctuation on, if you've been reading the New Avengers or anything, it puts the punctuation on uh, basically uh, uh, sticking it to the hood, who's just been plaguing the Avengers, the New Avengers, for years now. Uh, and they finally pretty much stick it to him and, and uh, uh, get him uh, put, put in his place and where he needs to be. Um, it's sort of a good uh, uh, finale story because you know it's they're all in, in flux at this during this issue because they don't know what's going to happen. What with the uh, you know I mean obviously Osborne's out of the picture so uh, they're going to see what's going on. Uh, but sort of leading up into uh, the new heroic age that's going on uh, with the Avengers, um, I gotta say I'm I'm jazzed. I I, I just finished reading this issue. Uh, I was finished reading this issue, and um, it's it's amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. Beautiful art by John Romita Jr., who's probably one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, and they set up a few things in this that's just pretty pretty cool. If you've seen the animated movie they did, the Next Avengers, there's actually a little there's actually uh, uh, there's actually some of that in here. Um, but I don't really want to spoil it too much for you. Uh, but it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I, I uh, definitely give all of these a big A. Um, so definitely check them out. Um, nothing really uh, uh, stares out at me as far as being bad in them. I mean, obviously in Siege, there's a lot of characters and there's a lot going on, so they have to sort of condense things. But the way that they do that is if you want to know more about what's like going on with Thor in Siege, you go get Siege the Thor books. So, uh, or, or if you want to know more about Iron Man or know more about Captain America, that sort of thing, or, or, or the Thunderbolts, um, go, go get that stuff. But... Uh, this is uh, this is pretty good stuff. Uh, I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty jazzed about what uh, what's gonna be happening in the Marvel universe. Um, so uh, thanks for taking the time to hear me out. I'll be back in a bit uh, with a review of uh, the DC side of things, uh, the Batman stuff I'm getting into. So uh, based on Aaron's uh, Aaron's review, so um, or Aaron's suggestion of t checking them out. So I've got Red Robin and uh, of course uh, uh, Batman and Robin to check out. So. Um, that's about all I've got. That's been a good confessions, uh, so far. So thanks for tuning in.